I heard an incredible idea this week about what this Hebrew month, Tammuz, is really all about. And what is the Avodah Ruchanit? What is the spiritual work that we need to do this month? The Sefer HaYetzirah, one of the oldest books of Kabbalah that many of the medieval commentators, the Rishonim, speak about, is even attributed, some say, all the way back to Abraham Avinu. It's an old work of Kabbalah. And in this book it says that the thing that we need to do this month, the month of Tammuz, is about a tikkun, rectifying the chait, the sin of chush ha of the uh, sense of sight, of seeing things in a negative light. And the truth is, historically, this month, the entire month of Tammuz, was the time that the Maraglin, the spies that we read about a number of weeks ago, spent in the land viewing it in a negative light. As we know, they returned and spoke negatively, Dibara, the negative speech on Tisha B'Av, the original sin on Tisha B'Av, on the 9th of Av. And we know that if you go back 40 days, it says that there were 40 days in the land. It means that they left on Erev Rosh Chodesh, the day before Rosh Chodesh Tammuz. And therefore, the vast majority of the time they were in the land was the entire month of Tammuz. And what were they doing? Simply viewing and interpreting everything that they saw in a negative light. So much so that they spoke about it so badly that the Jewish people didn't want to go into the land and cause the terrible sin of the Maraglim. And hence is the Sefer Yitzirah. This month for posterity is about Tikkun of Ein Ra'ah to Ein Tova, to view the world in a positive light. That is the Tikkun. And the truth is, I often say that the only way to uh, uh, prevent and avoid Lashon Hara, Dibara, speaking badly about others, the only way is not to think badly about others. If we want to speak positively about others, then we need to see the world and others in a positive way. And that is how Tammuz and Av work together. Av was the negative expression, Tisha Av, on speaking negatively about the land because they saw the land in such a negative light. And hence the tikkun is that if we see ourselves, the world all around us through positive eyes and not condemning and critical eyes, then we will speak positively about others. May we all during this month, as the month moves on in this very time, which started with the times of the Meraglim, this week's parashi in Israel, uh, Balak, Bilam also speaks about the negative eye seeing things negatively, the great tikkun of this summer period in the Northern Hemisphere of Tammuz and Av is the ability to work on ourselves, to see ourselves, to see the world all around us positively. Because when we see the world through positive eyes, and that's how we train ourselves, we see everything positively, we speak about everything posit positively, and see a world of blessing all around us. Shabbat Shalom.